it's come so close, bro. Zoom out. <laughs> Is that... <laughs> People, Scott Swench, it's Friday night. Yeah. I've just got to Body Blitz Gym. We're about to bang shoulders and traps. Training with a few of the lads, Troy and Theo and Max. Troy and Theo are both two weeks out from the Saxon Classic, so they're looking sick. So, yeah, gonna take you through the workout, show you what we're doing today, see if you uh, can pick up a few tips here and there. Let's go. So we're back again, down at Body Blitz Gym, hit a late night shoulders and trap session. First off, if I sound all stuffed up, it's because I've got a cold, so bear with me. So yeah, first thing we started off with was dumbbell press. Typically, we change the type of press we do every shoulders workout, so whether that be Smith Machine, dumbbells, military press, we switch it up every session, but today we went with the dumbbells. We did five sets of 10 to 15 reps, pyramiding up in weight each set. And then on the last set, we actually drop setted that with a, a lighter set of dumbbells just to really get a good pump. Now shoulders, to be fair, are one of my stronger body parts, but my pressing on shoulders and chest, really, my pressing in general, my strength isn't really the best. But what I find is that because I train quite high volume, high intensity, We'll do a lot of time on the tension stuff. It's enabled my shoulders to grow really well without actually being able to press heavy, heavy weight. So that's what we're throwing supersets like this. We just dropped it down to some lighter dumbbells, not even counting the reps, just literally repping out until failure. So this would be the last set, 10 to 15 reps on the heavier weight. As soon as you finish with that, throw them down, grab the next lighter dumbbells and same again. Don't count any reps. Just keep it moving. Don't lock out at the top. Don't want to come too far down either. Just keeping the weight moving. So yeah, we'll put it in the description where that was five sets, 10 to 15 reps. Drop set in the last set. So next exercise was lateral raises. This again was another super set. So we did four sets. Standing lateral raises with a, a heavier weight, nice and controlled. Getting a nice squeeze at the top and controlling the negative. That's one of the most important parts that people forget. They tend to throw the weight up and throw it down. You really need to get it up, squeeze at the top and control the negative. So here we superseted the standing raises uh, with seated raises. And what we're doing on the seated ones is not bending the elbows at all. So we're keeping the arms completely straight, bringing them all the way out, parallel to your body and getting a really good squeeze at the top. So especially after doing these back to back, the pump should be serious right about now. And literally, you know you're having a good shoulders workout when you can't raise your arms up anymore. That's what you should be aiming for, that horrible, horrible pump. So it's, this was four sets. Uh, same again, hitting 15 reps on each one. And what we do, if you don't get the 15 reps on the standing ones, then you still got to match whatever you get on the seated ones. But we're aiming for 15 on each, so each set is 30 reps. I mean, with lateral raises, with any type of raises, it comes down to preference. But in my opinion, you don't even you don't need to go heavy. It's just about getting a good contraction and high volume. Can't stress that, especially for shoulders and arms. Most things, to be honest, high volume is the way forward. You're still with moderate weight, but heavy weight on shoulders is more than likely going to end up with you getting injured more than anything. Obviously, we all like lifting heavy, but it's about getting a good balance. So now and again we'll go heavy, or we'll go heavy with the compound, but pretty much everything after that is just high volume, loads of drop sets, loads of supersets, and as you can see, the pump was serious, so it's definitely working. And as the weight starts to get heavier, obviously as you can see we use that little bit of momentum just to get the weight moving, but it's still controlled through the majority of the rep, nice squeeze at the top and then the negative being controlled down. So. You can even get a bit of momentum, but obviously you don't want to be using all momentum to get the weight up. Okay, so next exercise was front raises with the dumbbells. In the same fashion as the last one really, we're going standing with the heavier dumbbells, moving straight into the bench, seated with lighter dumbbells. And what we're doing is putting your arms parallel to your body, 
on an incline. You're coming up just above shoulder height and getting a really good squeeze on the front down. It's all controlled, so no swinging. You squeeze at the top, relax at the bottom, and repeat. Same again, 15 reps on each. With the bench on a, on a slight incline, you really haven't got no choice but to use the front down. And as you're turning them in at the top, that extra squeeze, it really does just give you a nice burn. Come on, Pete, don't rush you. She want this one, five more. Oh, oh, she's she's not, come on. Yeah, slow up the top. Yeah, there you go. Three more, three more. Come on. Don't rush it. Come on. One more. Don't rush it. Come on. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Man, Larry. Nice, Keep going, man. Look at fucking this condition. Bro. It's fucking ridiculous. I'm squeezing. Keep going, keep going. Come on. Alright, let's go. Yep. Come on, Troy, keep going. No, come on. So yeah, just thought I'd throw some raw footage in there so you can hear and see a bit of the intensity. Is my boy Troy, two weeks out from the Saxon Classic Junior Bodybuilding. His conditioning is on another level, he's still got two weeks to go, but look out for him. Sick. So then we moved on to traps uh, on this uh, hammer strength shrug machine. Um, same with the shrugs, we normally switch it up. Some days we might do dumbbells, some days using the Olympic bar. Today we went with this. Leaning slightly forward into it and just getting a really good squeeze at the top. As you can see, we're letting the shoulders relax at the bottom to stretch out the trap and then holding the squeeze for a split second at the top just to get a full range of motion. Obviously, it's only a short range of motion with shrugs, so you need to make the most of it. So get that nice relax at the bottom, let it stretch out. And you're literally trying to bring your shoulders up to your ears, just imagine it like that, and getting a really good squeeze. Last thing then, just to get that last final pump and fill the muscle with blood, uh, we did this as a finisher. So just loaded up the bar, 10 reps overhead press, just keeping the weight moving. And then once you hit the 10 reps, just force out a few more reps where you're completely locking out at the top, as you can see here. Then straight on to the raises, grab some dumbbells, just light. And what we're gonna do is 10 reps of laterals, 10 reps front raises, and then 10 reps of rear belts. And we just repeated that twice to get a nice big pump to finish on. You, really, you wanna finish your workouts on a big pump, so we tend to do something like this on every workout. And that was it. I'll put the full workout in description as always. So check it out, give it a go, comment, give me your feedback, let me know how you get on. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, get at us on all our socials and make sure you look out for all our next vids. See you next time.